Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm Jasmine if you are new here and you're going to find out pretty quick how much your girl loves texture. I have created this beautiful piece behind me from an old canvas from a big box store and I'm absolutely in love with how it turned out. It's very cottage core. I'm all about the cottage farmhouse vibes. I love vintage and rustic pieces and then this just kind of screams all of it and I'm really obsessed with how that floral looks, the transfer floral anthology by OD. Perfect. Before we get started, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you know every single time I upload, it really helps me grow my channel and helps me to create even more awesome content for you all. So without further ado, let's get into the project. We got spackling paste and just like this regular what you would see spackle. This is the paste. That's your lightweight spackle. And you can see this is a lot smoother. This has a little more texture, so we're gonna see which one we want to use and if it dries quick. Okay, so here is the piece that we're doing. I might bring it out in the sun. I just don't want it to be a glare for you all. So, but I'm going to be using Dust Till Dawn uh, Long Legacy Paint, so you all uh, can get my coupon discount code down below. It's 20% off every time you order. That's a beautiful color and we're going to use crinoline from DIY and we're going to use the spackling paste like we talked about. I've got my Paint Pixie DIY brushes and my spray bottle and first thing we're going to do is start all over with the crinoline and let's just get to it. But feeling like I'm all alone, you don't seem to want me, even though you told me so. And baby, I wonder if we should just go a separate ways. We could start. After getting a thin layer of crinoline on, I'm going to go in with Dust to Dawn from Long Legacy Paint. Again, my discount code is down below for you, and I will have a direct link to this color. And I'm just going to blend back and forth until I think it looks really nice. I liked the peach heavy on the edges and a little lighter here in the center. And I will go in with a second coat as well. You can see here I'm just pouring it right on there and using my water bottle. And just go back and forth until you get your desired look. I am going to take this spackling paste and go all over the bottom portion where I did not paint with any peach and just slowly keep working with it. You've got a little bit of working time before it starts to dry up on you and I'm outside and it still did really well for me and I'm just going along the edges getting that edge to look that I like and then scraping it with a large scraper tool thinning it out a little bit you don't want it too too thick in the first coat if you want to do multiple coats that's fine and then I'm just going to create texture with different spatulas and just see what I get and see what I like and it's okay to slow the ride This is starting to dry, but I'm actually going through with my hand and getting some more texture over top. I did like that clean look, but at the same time, I want it a little more textured. Don't know, this probably isn't good for my skin, but you know. So, oh yeah, I'm liking this a lot better 
And when we get inside to use our transfer, you'll really see what's happening. take some white swan which is like my one of my favorite whites from DIY it's still a warmer undertone white it's not like a bright white so I'm gonna go in just kind of get those spots I'm gonna go in and get the spots I didn't get with the crinoline add some dimension and just see what we get Got these voices Now I got these voices in my head Baby, I can focus Feels like I've been... So I've added some more pink here. I was trying to get this spot, but as you can tell, it's still coming back through. But I need to blend this just a little bit more because I think it's a little too harsh for this. I'm going to take a little bit of the white swan. pieces under here this is a regular canvas it's not a wood canvas and I needed something to raise up or else this is not gonna <laughs> work very well so let's see what kind of line we got that should do pretty good wraps up today's video I am really excited about how this turned out like I said before it, it my vision it took it I took it even further than what I expected it to be and sometimes you just have to play and you have to trust yourself and not doubt yourself on every single project or you'll never get anything done I am living proof of that but before you go please make sure that you have subscribed and ring the notification bell because now I'm uploading two days a week Tuesdays and Sundays and I'll have another project for you all this coming Sunday so remember to stay kind stay true to yourself and follow your dreams because I'm living proof that you can do so I love you all and I'll see you on Sunday's video bye made of